leaving a little space at the top, you know, better to, you know, be safe than sorry, as usual. And if you need to complete this in two strokes, it's totally okay. Paying careful attention to your negative space. And again, we're just focusing on twirling the tip of our brush. Now, if you wanna practice these strokes, we do have a stroke practice worksheet as well. That's gonna be available on our shop at goodsnake.com shop. And you can find all of these worksheets there. So I'm just gonna twirl it, all right. Again, we'll come back and finish all of these. It's all about taking our time. And I didn't do full twirl there, so I'll just... See, my brush is fighting me a little, so I'm just going to make sure I'm really chiseling it. Too much and too little paint is definitely a problem. So this is when I want to pay attention to my spaces here so they don't look all wiggly. So I really want my negative space to look really good there, so. So really making sure I'm getting those curves. If we really take our time, that's when we can develop the speed. And I think it's important to show you how to take your time here rather than just knocking it out. That's not helpful to anybody, especially when you're learning. So now I want to fix my corners here. So maybe I'll just lightly drag this across. We want this to be as convincing as possible because in hand lettering, because we're not computers, we want it to be convincingly human, but you know, those nice little details are what make it block and gothic. So I like that a lot. I'm just gonna maybe hit that little edge here, but you know, I think we've done a pretty good job of convincing the viewer here that this is a block letter.